The Philippines Campaign Filipino, Campania sa Pilipinas or Labanan sa Pilipinas or the Battle of the Philippines, fought 8 December 1941 to 8 May 1942, was the invasion of the Philippines by Imperial Japan and the defense of the islands by United States and Filipino forces during the Second World War. The Japanese launched the invasion by sea from Formosa over 200 miles 320 kilometers to the north of the Philippines. The defending forces outnumbered the Japanese by 3 to 2, however they were a mixed force of non-combat experienced regular, National Guard, Constabulary and newly created Commonwealth units. The Japanese used first-line troops at the outset of the campaign, and concentrating their forces enabled a swift overrun of most of Luzon during the first month. The Japanese High Command, believing they had won the campaign, made a strategic decision to advance by a month their timetable of operations in Borneo and Indonesia, withdrawing their best division and the bulk of their airpower in early January 1942. This, coupled with the decision of the defenders to withdraw into a defensive holding position in the Bataan Peninsula, enabled the Americans and Filipinos to successfully hold out for four more months. The conquest of the Philippines by Japan is often considered the worst military defeat in United States history. About 23,000 American military personnel were killed or captured, while Filipino soldiers killed or captured totaled around 100,000. Background Japanese activity Topic. Objectives The Japanese planned to occupy the Philippines as part of their plan for a Greater East Asia War, in which their Southern Expeditionary Army Group seized sources of raw materials in Malaya and the Netherlands East Indies while the combined fleet neutralized the United States Pacific Fleet. The Southern Expeditionary Army was created on 6 November 1941, commanded by General Count Hisaichi Tarachi, who had previously been Minister of War. It was ordered to prepare for war in the event that negotiations with the United States did not succeed in peacefully meeting Japanese objectives. Under Tarauchi's command were four corps equivalent armies, comprising ten divisions and three combined arms brigades, including the 14th Army. Operations against the Philippines and Malaya were to be conducted simultaneously when Imperial General Headquarters ordered. The invasion of the Philippines had three objectives. To prevent the use of the Philippines as an advance base of operations by American forces. To acquire staging areas and supply bases to enhance operations against the Netherlands East Indies. To secure the lines of communication between occupied areas in the south and the Japanese home islands. Topic. Invasion forces Terachi assigned the Philippines invasion to the 14th Army, under the command of Lieutenant General Masaharu Homa. Air support of ground operations would be provided by the 5th Air Group, under Lieutenant General Hideyoshi Obata, which was transferred to Formosa from Manchuria. 
the amphibious invasion would be conducted by the Philippines force under Vice Admiral Ibo Takahashi, using the Imperial Japanese Navy Third Fleet, supported by the land-based aircraft of 11th Air Fleet of Vice Admiral Nishizo Sukihara. The 14th Army had two first-line infantry divisions, the 16th Susumu Morioka and 48th Divisions Yuitsu Suchihashi, to invade and conquer Luzon, and the 65th Brigade as a garrison force. The Formosa-based 48th Division, although without combat experience, was considered one of the Japanese Army's best units, was specially trained in amphibious operations, and was given the assignment of the main landing in Lingayan Gulf. The 16th Division, assigned to land at Laman Bay, was picked as one of the best divisions still available in Japan itself and staged from the Ryukyus and Palau. The 14th Army also had the 4th and 7th Tank Regiments, 5 Field Artillery Battalions, 5 Anti-Aircraft Artillery Battalions, 4 Anti-Tank Companies, and a Mortar Battalion. An unusually strong group of combat engineer and bridging units was included in the 14th Army's support forces. For the invasion, the 3rd Fleet was augmented by two destroyer squadrons and a cruiser division of the 2nd Fleet, and the aircraft carrier Ryujo from the 1st Air Fleet. The Philippines force consisted of an aircraft carrier, five heavy cruisers, five light cruisers, 29 destroyers, two seaplane tenders, plus minesweepers and torpedo boats, combined army and navy air strength allocated to support the landings was 541 aircraft. The 11th Kokakontai Air Fleet consisted of the 21st and 23rd Kokasentai Air Flotillas, a combined strength of 156 G4M Betty and G3M Nell bombers, 107 A6M0 fighters, plus seaplanes and reconnaissance planes. Most of these were based at Takao, and approximately a third were sent to Indochina in the last week of November to support operations in Malaya. The Ryujo provided an additional 16 fighters and 18 torpedo planes, and the surface ships had 68 seaplanes for search and observation, totaling 412 naval aircraft. The Army's 5th Kokoshidan Air Group consisted of two fighter regiments, two light bomber regiments, and a heavy bomber regiment, totaling 192 aircraft, 76 Ki-21, Sally, Ki-48, Lily, and Ki-30, An, bombers, 36 Ki-27, Nate, fighters, and 19 Ki-15. Babs and Key 36 Ida observation planes. Topic Defenses. Topic USAFFE. From mid-1941, following increased tension between Japan and several other powers, including the United States, Britain and the Netherlands, many countries in Southeast Asia and the Pacific began to prepare for the possibility of war. By December 1941, the combined defense forces in the Philippines were organized into the U.S. Army Forces in the Far East USAFFE, which eventually included the Philippine Army's 1st Regular Division, 2nd Constabulary Division, and 10 Mobilized Reserve Divisions, and the United States Army's Philippine Department. General Douglas MacArthur was recalled from 
from retirement by the U.S. War Department and named commander of USAFFE on 26 July 1941. MacArthur had retired in 1937 after two years as military advisor to the Philippine Commonwealth, and accepted control of the Philippine Army, tasked by the government of the Philippines with reforming an army made up primarily of reservists lacking equipment, training and organization. On 31 July 1941, the Philippine Department had 22,532 troops assigned, approximately half of whom were Filipino. MacArthur recommended the reassignment of the department commander, Maj. General George Grunert in October 1941 and took command himself. The main component of the department was the U.S. Army Philippine Division, a 10,500-man formation that consisted mostly of Philippine Scouts PS combat units. The Philippine Department had been reinforced between August and November 1941 by 8,500 troops of the U.S. Army Air Forces, and by three Army National Guard units, including its only armor, two battalions of M3 light tanks. These units, the 200th Coast Artillery Regiment an anti-aircraft unit, 192nd Tank Battalion, and 194th Tank Battalion, drew troops from New Mexico, Wisconsin, Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, Minnesota, Missouri, and California. After reinforcement, the department's strength as of 30 November 1941 was 31,095, including 11,988 Philippine scouts. MacArthur organized USAFFE into four tactical commands. The North Luzon Force, activated 3 December 1941 under Maj. General Jonathan M. Wainwright, defended the most likely sites for amphibious attacks and the central plains of Luzon. Wainwright's forces included the PA 11th, 21st and 31st Infantry Divisions, the U.S. 26th Cavalry Regiment PS, a battalion of the 45th Infantry PS, and the 1st Provisional Artillery Group of two batteries of 155mm guns and one 2.95-inch mountain gun. The Philippine 71st Infantry Division served as a reserve and could be committed only on the authority of MacArthur. The South Luzon Force, activated 13 December 1941 under Brig. General George M. Parker, Jr., controlled a zone east and south of Manila. Parker had the PA 41st and 51st Infantry Divisions and the 2nd Provisional Artillery Group of two batteries of the U.S. 86th Field Artillery Regiment PS. The Visayan Mindanao Force under Brig. General William F. Sharp comprised the PA 61st, 81st, and 101st Infantry Divisions, reinforced after the start of the war by the newly inducted 73rd and 93rd Infantry Regiments. The 61st Division was located on Panay, the 81st on Cebu and Negros, and the 101st on Mindanao. In January a 4th Division, the 102nd, was created on Mindanao from the field artillery regiments of the 61st and 81st Divisions acting as infantry they had no artillery pieces, and the 103rd Infantry of the 101st Division. The 2nd Infantry of the Philippine Army's 1st Regular Division and the 2nd Battalion of the U.S. 43rd Infantry Philippine Scouts were also made a part of the Mindanao Force. 
USAFFE's reserve force, under MacArthur's direct control, was composed of the Philippine Division, the 91st Division PA, and headquarters units from the PA and Philippine Department, positioned just north of Manila. The 192nd and 194th Tank Battalions formed the separate Provisional Tank Group, also under MacArthur's direct command, at Clark Field, Fort Stotzenberg, where they were positioned as a mobile defense against any attempt by airborne units to seize the field. Four U.S. Coast Artillery Corps regiments guarded the entrance to Manila Bay, including Corregidor Island. Across a narrow 3 kilometers 2 miles straight of water from Bataan on Corregidor was Fort Mills, defended by batteries of the 59th and 60th Coast Artillery Regiments, the latter an anti-aircraft unit, and the 91st and 92nd Coast Artillery Regiments Philippine Scouts of the harbor defenses of Manila and Subic Bays. The 59th CA acted as a supervisory unit for the batteries of all units positioned on Forts Hughes, Drum, Frank, and Wint. The majority of the forts had been built circa 1910–1915 and, except for Fort Drum and Battery Manja on Corregidor, were unprotected against air and high-angle artillery attack except by camouflage. The USAFFE's aviation arm was the Far East Air Force FEAF, of the U.S. Army Air Forces, commanded by Maj. General Louis H. Brereton. Previously the Philippine Department Air Force and Air Force USAFFE, the Air Force was activated on 16 November 1941 and was the largest USAAF combat air organization outside the United States. Its primary combat power in December 1941 consisted of 91 serviceable P-40 Warhawk fighters and 34 B-17 Flying Fortress bombers, with further modern aircraft en route. Tactically the FEAF was part of the reserve force, so that it fell under MacArthur's direct command. As of 30 November 1941, the strength of U.S. Army troops in the Philippines, including Philippine units, was 31,095, consisting of 2,504 officers and 28,591 enlisted, 16,643 Americans, and 11,957 Philippine Scouts. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mobilization. MacArthur's mobilization plans called for induction of the ten reserve divisions between 1 September and 15 December 1941. The timetable was met on 1 September with the induction of one regiment per division, but slowed as a lack of facilities and equipment hampered training. The second regiments of the divisions were not called up until 1 November, and the third regiments were not organized until after hostilities began. Training was also seriously inhibited by language difficulties between the American cadres and the Filipino troops, and by the many differing dialects estimated at 70, of the numerous ethnic groups comprising the army. By the outbreak of war, only two-thirds of the army had been mobilized, but additions to the force continued with the induction of the constabulary and a portion of the regular army, until a force of approximately 130,000 men was reached. The most crucial equipment shortfalls were in rifles and divisional light artillery. 
MacArthur requested 84,500 M1 Garand rifles to replace the World War I M1917 Enfields equipping the PA, of which there were adequate numbers, but the War Department denied the request because of production difficulties. The divisions had only 20% of their artillery requirements, and while plans had been approved to significantly reduce this gap, the arrangements came too late to be implemented before war isolated the Philippines. By contrast, the Philippine Division was adequately manned, equipped, and trained. MacArthur received immediate approval to modernize it by reorganizing it as a mobile triangular division. Increasing the authorized size of the Philippine scouts was not politically viable because of resentments within the less well-paid Philippine army, so MacArthur's plan also provided for freeing up Philippine scouts to round out other units. The transfer of the American 34th Infantry from the 8th Infantry Division in the United States to the Philippine Division, accompanied by two field artillery battalions to create a pair of complete regimental combat teams, was actually underway when war broke out. The deployment ended with the troops still in the United States, where they were sent to defend Hawaii instead. Topic Other defense forces The United States Asiatic Fleet and 16th Naval District, based at Manila, provided the naval defenses for the Philippines. Commanded by Admiral Thomas C. Hart, the surface combatants of the Asiatic Fleet were the heavy cruiser USS Houston, the light cruiser USS Marblehead, and 13 World War I-era destroyers. Its primary striking power lay in the 23 modern submarines assigned to the Asiatic Fleet. Submarine Squadron SUBRON 2 consisted of six Salmon-class submarines, an SUBRON 5 of 11 Porpoise and Sargo-class submarines. In September 1941, naval patrol forces in the Philippines were augmented by the arrival of the six PT boats of Motor Torpedo Boat Squadron 3. Likewise, the China Yangtze patrol gunboats also became part of the Philippine naval defenses. USS Asheville sunk south of Java the 3rd of March 1942. USS Mindanao lost the 2nd of May 1942. USS Luzon scuttled the 6th of May 1942 but salvaged by the Japanese. USS Oahu sunk the 5th of May 19 1942, and USS Quail scuttled the 5th of May 1942. In December 1941, the naval forces were augmented by the schooner USS Lanikai. The U.S. 4th Marine Regiment, stationed in Shanghai, China, since the late 1920s, had anticipated a withdrawal from China during the summer of 1941. As personnel were routinely transferred back to the United States or separated from the service, the regimental commander, Col. Samuel L. Howard, arranged unofficially for all replacements to be placed in the 1st Special Defense Battalion, based at Cavite. When the 4th Marines arrived in the Philippines on 30 November 1941, it incorporated the Marines at Cavite and Alangapo Naval Stations into its understrength ranks. An initial plan to divide the 4th into two regiments, mixing each with a battalion of Philippine Constabulary, was discarded after Howard showed reluctance, and the 4th was stationed on Corregidor to augment the defenses there, with details detached to Bataan to protect USAFFE headquarters. 
Additionally the U.S. Coast and Geodetic Survey, a paramilitary survey force, operated in Manila with the ship USC and GSS Research. Topic. Far East Air Force controversy News reached the Philippines that an attack on Pearl Harbor was in progress at 2.20 a.m. local time on 8 December 1941. FEAF interceptors had already conducted an air search for incoming aircraft reported shortly after midnight, but these had been Japanese scout planes reporting weather conditions. At 3.30 a.m., Brigadier General Richard Sutherland, Chief of Staff to General Douglas MacArthur heard about the attack from a commercial radio broadcast. At 5 a.m. FEAF Commander General Brereton reported to USAF FE headquarters where he attempted to see MacArthur without success. He recommended to MacArthur's Chief of Staff, Brig. General Richard Sutherland, that FEAF launch bombing missions against Formosa in accordance with Rainbow Five War Plan directives from which an attack was likely to come. General Breteran was further made aware of an attack against the USS William B. Preston at Davao Bay. Authorization was withheld, but shortly afterward, in response to a telegram from General George C. Marshall instructing MacArthur to implement Rainbow Five, Brereton was ordered to have a strike in readiness for later approval. Through a series of disputed discussions and decisions, authorization for the first raid was not approved until 10:15 a.m. local time for an attack just before sunset set, with a follow-up raid at dawn the next day. In the meantime, Japanese plans to attack Clark and Eba fields using land-based naval bombers and Zero fighters were delayed six hours by fog at its Formosa bases, so that only a small-scale Japanese Army mission attacked targets in the northern tip of Luzon. At 8 a.m., Brereton received a telephone call from General Henry H. Arnold warning him not to allow his aircraft to be attacked while still on the ground. FEAF launched three squadron-sized fighter patrols and all of its serviceable bombers on Luzon between 8 o'clock and 8.30 a.m. as a precautionary move. After MacArthur gave Brereton the authorization he sought at 10.15 a.m., the bombers were ordered to land and prepare for the afternoon raid on Formosa. All three pursuit squadrons began to run short on fuel and broke off their patrols at the same time. The 20th Pursuit Squadron's Curtis P-40B interceptors patrolled the area while the bombers landed at Clark Field between 10.30 and 10.45, then dispersed to their revetments for servicing. The 17th Pursuit Squadron, based at Nichols Field, also landed at Clark and had its aircraft refueled while its pilots ate lunch, then put its pilots on alert shortly after 11 o'clock. All but two of the Clark Field B-17s were on the ground. At 11.27 a.m. and 11.29 a.m., the radar post at Eba Field detected two incoming raids while the closest was still 130 miles out. It alerted FEAF headquarters and the command post at Clark Field, a warning that reached only the pursuit group commander, Major Orrin L. Grover, who apparently became confused by multiple and conflicting reports. The 3rd Pursuit Squadron took off from EVA at 11.45 with instructions to intercept the Western Force, which was thought to have Manila as its target, but dust problems during its takeoff resulted in the fragmentation of its flights. 
two flights of the 21st Pursuit Squadron PS at Nichols Field, 6 P-40S, took off at 11.45, led by 1st Lieutenant William Dias. They started for Clark, but were diverted to Manila Bay as a second line of defense if the 3rd PS failed to intercept its force. The 21 Street's third flight, taking off five minutes later, headed toward Clark, although engine problems with its brand new P-40S reduced its numbers by two. The 17th Pursuit Squadron took off at 12.15 p.m. from Clark, ordered to patrol Bataan and Manila Bay, while the 34th PS at Del Carmen never received its orders to protect Clark Field and did not launch. The 20th PS, dispersed at Clark, was ready to take off but did not receive orders from group headquarters. Instead a line chief saw the incoming formation of Japanese bombers and the section commander, 1st Lieutenant Joseph H. Moore, ordered the scramble himself. Even though tracked by radar and with three U.S. pursuit squadrons in the air, when Japanese bombers of the 11th Kokokontai attacked Clark Field at 12.40 p.m., they achieved tactical surprise. Two squadrons of B-17s were dispersed on the ground. Most of the P-40s of the 20th PS were preparing to taxi and were struck by the first wave of 27 Japanese twin-engine Mitsubishi G-3M Nell. bombers. Only four of the 20th PS P-40Bs managed to take off as the bombs were falling. A second bomber attack 26 Mitsubishi G4M Betty bombers followed closely then escorting zero fighters strafed the field for 30 minutes destroying 12 of the 17 American heavy bombers present and seriously damaging 3 others Two damaged B-17s were made flyable and taken to Mindanao, where one was destroyed in a ground collision. A near simultaneous attack on the auxiliary field at Iba to the northwest by 54 Betty bombers was also successful. All but four of the third pursuit squadron's P-40s, short on fuel and caught in their landing pattern, were destroyed in combat or from lack of fuel. Twelve P-40s from the 20th, 4, 21st, 2, and 3rd, 6 squadrons attacked the strafers but with little success, losing at least four of their own. The Far East Air Force lost fully half its planes in the 45-minute attack, and was all but destroyed over the next few days, including a number of the surviving B-17s lost to takeoff crashes of other planes. The 24th Pursuit Group flew its last interception on 10 December, losing 11 of the 40 or so P-40s it sent up, and the surviving P-35s of the 34th PS were destroyed on the ground at Del Carmen. That night FEAF combat strength had been reduced to 12 operable B-17s, 22 P-40s, and 8 P-35s. Fighter strength fluctuated daily until 24 December, when USAFFE ordered all its forces into Bataan. Until then P-40s and P-35s were cobbled together from spare parts taken from wrecked airplanes, and still crated P-40s were assembled at the Philippine Air Depot. Clark Field was abandoned as a bomber field on the 11th of December after being used as a staging base for a handful of B-17 missions. Between 17 December and 20, the 14 surviving B-17s were withdrawn to Australia. 
Every other aircraft of the FEAF was destroyed or captured. No formal investigation took place regarding this failure as occurred in the aftermath of Pearl Harbor. After the war, Brereton and Sutherland in effect blamed each other for FEAF being surprised on the ground, and MacArthur released a statement claiming that he had no knowledge of any recommendation to attack Formosa with B-17s. Walter D. Edmonds summarized the disaster as in the Philippines the personnel of our armed forces almost without exception failed to assess accurately the weight, speed, and efficiency of the Japanese Air Force." He quoted Maj. Gen. Emmett O'Donnell, then a major in charge of the B-17s sent to Mindanao, as concluding that the first day was a "...disorganized business," and that no one was really at fault because no one was geared for war topic invasion topic initial landings The 14th Army began its invasion with a landing on Bataan Island, not to be confused with Bataan Peninsula, 120 miles (190 kilometers) off the north coast of Luzon, on the 8th of December 1941, by selected naval infantry units. Landings on Cumagan Island and at Vigan, Apari, and Gonzaga in northern Luzon followed two days later. Two B-17s attacked the Japanese ships offloading at Gonzaga. Other B-17s with fighter escort attacked the landings at Vigan. In this last coordinated action of the Far East Air Force, U.S. planes damaged two Japanese transports, the cruiser Naka, and the destroyer Murasama, and sank one minesweeper. Early on the morning of 12 December, the Japanese landed 2,500 men of the 16th Division at Legazpi on southern Luzon, 150 miles kilometers from the nearest American. American and Philippine forces. The attack on Mindanao followed on 19 December, using elements of the 16th Army temporarily attached to the invasion force to permit the 14th Army to use all its troops on Luzon. Meanwhile, Admiral Thomas C. Hart withdrew most of his U.S. Asiatic fleet from Philippine waters following Japanese air strikes that inflicted heavy damage on U.S. naval facilities at Cavite on 10 December. Only submarines were left to contest Japanese naval superiority, and the commanders of these, conditioned by pre-war doctrine that held the fleet submarine to be a scouting vessel more vulnerable to air and anti-submarine attack than it actually was, proved unequal to the task. In a book, A Different Kind of Victory, a biography of Admiral Thomas C. Hart Naval Institute Press, 1981 written by James Loitza. He had 27 subs submerged in Manila Bay. It was Washington, not the Asiatic Fleet Commander that directed the fleet to withdraw from Manila. Hart was directed by Washington to send U.S. Navy surface forces and submarines southeast toward Australia. Douglas MacArthur and Henry Stimson, United States Secretary of War, feuding with Admiral Hart over lack of U.S. Navy submarine action. MacArthur asked Admiral Hart. What in the world is the matter with your submarines? MacArthur complained that Hart's inactivity allowed Japan's Navy freedom of action. 
According to Stimson, MacArthur felt that Hart's ships and submarines were ineffectual, but because Admiral Hart had lost his courage. Admiral Hart's reaction to MacArthur's brickbats. He MacArthur, is inclined to cut my throat and perhaps the Navy in general. Quote, quote. Topic. Main attack The main attack began early on the morning of the 22nd of December as 43,110 men of the 48th Division and one regiment of the 16th Division, supported by artillery and approximately 90 tanks, landed at three points along the east coast of Lingayan Gulf. A few B-17s flying from Australia attacked the invasion fleet, and U.S. submarines harassed it from the adjacent waters, but with little effect. General Wainwright's poorly trained and equipped 11th and 71st Divisions PA, could neither repel the landings nor pin the enemy on the beaches. The remaining Japanese units of the divisions landed farther south along the Gulf. The 26th Cavalry PS, advancing to meet them, put up a strong fight at Rosario, but was forced to withdraw after taking heavy casualties with no hope of sufficient reinforcements. By nightfall, 23 December, the Japanese had moved 10 miles 16 kilometers into the interior. The next day, 7,000 men of the 16th Division hit the beaches at three locations along the shore of La Mon Bay in southern Luzon, where they found General Parker's forces dispersed, and without artillery protecting the eastern coast, unable to offer serious resistance. They immediately consolidated their positions and began the drive north toward Manila where they would link up with the forces advancing south toward the capital for the final victory. Topic. Withdrawal into Bataan The U.S. Philippine Division moved into the field in reaction to reports of airborne drops near Clark Field, and when this proved false, were deployed to cover the withdrawal of troops into Bataan and to resist Japanese advances in the Subic Bay area. On 24 December, MacArthur invoked the pre-war war plan WPO3, War Plan Orange 3, which called for use of five delaying positions in central Luzon while forces withdrew into Bataan. This was carried out in part by the 26th Cavalry Regiment. He relieved General Parker of his command of South Luzon force and had him begin preparing defensive positions on Bataan, using units as they arrived. Both the military headquarters and the Philippines government were moved there. Nine days of feverish movement of supplies into Bataan, primarily by barge from Manila, began in an attempt to feed an anticipated force of 43,000 troops for six months. Ultimately 80,000 troops and 26,000 refugees flooded Bataan, nevertheless, substantial forces remained in other areas for several months. Units of both defense forces were maneuvered to hold open the escape routes into Bataan, in particular San Fernando, the steel bridges at Columpet over the deep Pampanga River at the north end of Manila Bay, and Plaridel north of Manila. The South Luzon force, despite its inexperience and equivocating orders to withdraw and hold, successfully executed leapfrogging retrograde techniques and crossed the bridges by 1 January. 
Japanese air commanders rejected appeals by the 48th Division to bomb the bridges to trap the retreating forces, which were subsequently demolished by Philippine scout engineers on 1 January. The Japanese realized the full extent of MacArthur's plan on 30 December and ordered the 48th Division to press forward and seal off Bataan. In a series of actions between 2 and 4 January, the 11th and 21st Divisions of the Philippine Army, the 26th Cavalry PS, and the American M3 Stuart tanks of the Provisional Tank Group held open the road from San Fernando to Dinalupahan at the neck of the peninsula for the retreating forces of the South Luzon Force, then made good their own escape. Despite 50% losses in the 194th Tank Battalion during the retreat, the Stuarts and a supporting battery of 75mm SPM half-tracks repeatedly stopped Japanese thrusts and were the final units to enter Bataan. On 30 December, the American 31st Infantry moved to the vicinity of Dalton Pass to cover the flanks of troops withdrawing from central and southern Luzon, while other units of the Philippine Division organized positions at Bataan. The 31st Infantry then moved to a defensive position on the west side of the Alongapo Manila Road, near Layak Junction at the neck of Bataan Peninsula on the 5th of January 1942 the junction was given up on the 6th of January but the withdrawal to Bataan was successful topic <laughs> <laughs> battle of bataan From 7 to 14 January 1942, the Japanese concentrated on reconnaissance and preparations for an attack on the main battle line from Abake to Mount Nadib to Malban. At the same time, in a critical mistake, they also relieved the 48th Division, responsible for much of the success of Japanese operations, with the much less capable 65th Brigade, intended as a garrison force. The Japanese 5th Air Group was withdrawn from operations on 5 January in preparation for movement with the 48th Division to the Netherlands East Indies. U.S. and Filipino forces repelled night attacks near Abake, and elements of the U.S. Philippine Division counterattacked on 16 January. This failed, and the division withdrew to the reserve battle line from Casa Pilar to Bogots in the center of the peninsula on 26 January. The 14th Army renewed its attacks on 23 January with an attempted amphibious landing behind the lines by a battalion of the 16th Division, then with general attacks beginning 27 January along the battle line. The amphibious landing was disrupted by a PT boat and contained in brutally dense jungle by ad hoc units made up of U.S. Army Air Corps troops, naval personnel, and Philippine constabulary. The pocket was then slowly forced back to the cliffs, with high casualties on both sides. Landings to reinforce the surviving pocket on 26 January and 2 February were severely disrupted by air attacks from the few remaining FEAF P-40s, then trapped and eventually annihilated on 13 February. A penetration in the first core line was stopped and broken up into several pockets. General Homa on 8 February ordered the suspension of offensive operations in order to reorganize his forces. This could not be carried out immediately, because the 16th Division remained engaged trying to extricate a pocketed battalion of its 20th Infantry. 
With further losses, the remnants of the battalion, 378 officers and men, were extricated on 15 February. On the 22nd of February, the 14th Army Line withdrew a few miles to the north and USAFFE forces reoccupied the abandoned positions. The result of the Battle of the Points and Battle of the Pockets was total destruction of all three battalions of the Japanese 20th Infantry and a clear USAFFE victory. For several weeks, the Japanese, deterred by heavy losses and reduced to a single brigade, conducted siege operations while waiting refitting and reinforcement. Both armies engaged in patrols and limited local attacks. Because of the worsening Allied position in the Asia-Pacific region, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt ordered MacArthur to relocate to Australia. As Supreme Allied Commander South West Pacific Area, MacArthur's famous speech regarding the Philippines, in which he said, I came out of Bataan and I shall return, was made at Tarawi. South Australia on 20 March, Wainwright officially assumed control of what was now termed United States Forces in the Philippines USFIP, on 23 March. During this period, elements of the U.S. Philippine Division were shifted to assist in the defense of other sectors. Beginning 28 March, a new wave of Japanese air and artillery attacks hit Allied forces who were severely weakened by malnutrition, sickness and prolonged fighting. On 3 April, the Japanese began to break through along Mount Samat, estimating that the offensive would require a month to end the campaign. The U.S. Philippine Division, no longer operating as a coordinated unit and exhausted by five days of nearly continuous combat, was unable to counterattack effectively against heavy Japanese assaults. On 8 April, the U.S. 57th Infantry Regiment PS and the 31st Division PA were overrun near the Alangan River. The U.S. 45th Infantry Regiment PS, under orders to reach Marivelles and evacuate to Corregidor, finally surrendered on 10 April 1942. Only 300 men of the U.S. 31st Infantry successfully reached Corregidor. <laughs> Battle of Corregidor Corregidor was a U.S. Army Coast Artillery position defending the entrance to Manila Bay. It was armed by both older seacoast disappearing gun batteries of the 59th and 91st Coast Artillery Regiments, the latter a Philippine Scouts unit, an offshore mine field of approximately 35 groups of controlled mines, and an anti-aircraft unit, the 60th CA AA. The latter was posted on the higher elevations of Corregidor and was able to respond successfully to the Japanese air attacks, downing many fighters and bombers. The older stationary batteries with fixed mortars and immense cannons, for defense from attack by sea, were easily put out of commission by Japanese bombers. The American soldiers and Filipino scouts defended the small fortress until they had little left to wage a defense. Early in 1942, the Japanese Air Command installed oxygen in its bombers to fly higher than the range of the Corregidor anti-aircraft batteries, and after that time, heavier bombardment began. 
In December 1941, Philippines President Manuel L. Quezon, General MacArthur, other high-ranking military officers and diplomats and families escaped the bombardment of Manila and were housed in Corregidor's Malinta Tunnel. Prior to their arrival, Malinta's laterals had served as high command headquarters, hospital and storage of food and arms. In March 1942, several U.S. Navy submarines arrived on the north side of Corregidor. The Navy brought in mail, orders, and weaponry. They took away with them the high American and Filipino government officers, gold and silver and other important records. Those who were unable to escape by submarine were eventually military POWs of Japan or placed in civilian concentration camps in Manila and other locations. Corregidor was defended by 11,000 personnel, comprising the units mentioned above that were stationed on Corregidor, the U.S. 4th Marine Regiment, and U.S. Navy personnel deployed as infantry. Some were able to get to Corregidor from the Bataan Peninsula when the Japanese overwhelmed the units there. The Japanese began their final assault on Corregidor with an artillery barrage on 1 May. On the night of 5–6 May, two battalions of the Japanese 61st Infantry Regiment landed at the northeast end of the island. Despite strong resistance, the Japanese established a beachhead that was soon reinforced by tanks and artillery. The defenders were quickly pushed back toward the stronghold of Malinta Hill. Late on 6 May, Wainwright asked Homa for terms of surrender. Homa insisted that surrender include all Allied forces in the Philippines. Believing that the lives of all those on Corregidor would be endangered, Wainwright accepted. On 8 May, he sent a message to Sharp, ordering him to surrender the Visayan Mindanao force. Sharp complied, but many individuals carried on the fight as guerrillas. Few unit commanders were so hard pressed as to be forced to surrender, and none had any desire to surrender. General Sharp's decision to surrender involved many factors. Major Larry S. Schmidt, in a 1982 master's degree thesis, said General Sharp's decision to surrender was based on two reasons. According to Schmidt, the first was that the Japanese were capable of executing the 10,000 survivors of Corregidor. The second, he said, was because Sharp now knew his forces would not be reinforced by the United States as had been previously thought. Topic. Aftermath The defeat was the beginning of three and a half years of harsh treatment for the Allied survivors, including atrocities like the Bataan Death March and the misery of Japanese prison camps, and the hell ships on which American and Allied men were sent to Japan to be used as labor in mines and factories. Thousands were crowded into the holds of Japanese ships, without water, food, or sufficient ventilation. The Japanese did not mark POW on the decks of these vessels, and some were attacked and sunk by Allied aircraft and submarines. For example, on 7 September 1944 SS Shinyomaru was sunk by USS Paddle with losses of 668 POWs, only 82 POWs survived. Although the campaign was a victory to the Japanese, it took a longer time than anticipated to defeat the Filipinos and Americans. 
This required forces that would have been used to attack Borneo and Java to be diverted to the battle in the Philippines, and also slowed the advance on New Guinea and the Solomon Islands. During the occupation of the Philippines, Americans and Filipino guerrillas fought against the occupying forces. The Allied and the Philippine Commonwealth forces began the campaign to recapture the Philippines in 1944, with landings on the island of Leyte. On 29 January 1945, U.S. and Philippine forces liberated POWs in the raid at Cabanatuan. Importance. The defense of the Philippines was the longest resistance to the Japanese Imperial Army in the initial stages of World War II. After the Battle of Abake the Japanese started to withdraw from Bataan, and resumed their attack in April, thus allowing MacArthur 40 precious days for the preparation of Australia as an operational base. Philippine American resistance against the Japanese up to the fall of Bataan on April 9, 1942 lasted 105 days, 3 months and 2 days. Topic: <laughs> USAFFE order of battle, the 3rd of December 1941, casualty reports. Topic: United States Army Forces Far East. Philippine Constabulary. First PC Regiment. Second PC Regiment. Third PC Regiment. ABMC lists three dead. Fourth PC Regiment. HQ Philippine Department. Headquarters Harbor Defenses of Manila and Subic Bays Philippine Division PS Philippine Scouts as of July 31, 1941 Division numbered 10743 Post Service Command PS ABMC lists 175 dead First Philippine Coast Artillery ABMC lists one dead. Twelfth Medical Battalion (PS). ABMC lists 121 dead. Twelfth Medical Regiment (PS). ABMC lists 13 dead. Twelfth Military Police Company (PS). ABMC lists 40 dead. 12th Ordnance Company PS ABMC lists 45 dead 12th Quartermaster Battalion HQ PS ABMC lists 3 dead 12th Quartermaster Battalion PS ABMC lists 70 dead 12th Quartermaster Regiment United States PS ABMC lists 90 dead 12th Signal Company PS ABMC lists 77 dead 14th Engineer Regiment PS ABMC lists 324 dead 14th Engineer Battalion PS ABMC lists 4 dead 17th Ordnance Company US Army ABMC lists 45 dead 23rd Field Artillery PS BTRYA ABMC lists 159 dead plus 1 dead 1st Battalion 24th Field Artillery PS ABMC lists 309 dead 
26th Cavalry Regiment PS ABMC lists 301 dead 31st Infantry US Army ABMC lists 936 dead 43rd Infantry PS ABMC lists 31 dead 45th Infantry PS ABMC lists 1039 dead 47th Infantry PS ABMC lists 1 dead 47th Motor Transport Company PS ABMC lists 1 dead 57th Infantry PS ABMC lists 983 dead 59th Coast Artillery US Army Corregidor ABMC lists 329 dead plus 1 Colonel Paul Bunker 60th Coast Artillery United States Corregidor ABMC lists 390 dead 71st Medical Battalion PS ABMC lists 0 dead 74th Quartermaster Bakery Co. PS. ABMC lists 17 dead. 75th Ordnance Depot Company, U.S. Army. ABMC lists three dead. 75th Ordnance Company, U.S. Army. ABMC lists 35 dead. 86th Field Artillery PS ABMC lists 169 total 8 dead for regiment plus 161 dead for battalion 88th Field Artillery PS ABMC lists 186 dead 91st Coast Artillery PS ABMC lists 202 dead 92nd Coast Artillery PS Corregidor ABMC lists 200 dead 200th Coast Artillery US Army ABMC lists 373 dead 202nd Philippine Engineer Battalion US Army ABMC lists 9 dead 252nd Signal Construction Company PS ABMC lists 44 dead 515th Coast Artillery Regiment US Army ABMC lists 207 dead 808th MP Company US Army ABMC lists 90 dead Provisional Tank Group, under the command of B. G. James Weaver, 17th Ordnance Battalion 1 Company ABMC lists 45 dead 192nd Tank Battalion, ABMC lists 189 dead plus HQ Co. 192nd Tank Battalion ABMC lists 2 dead Note 192nd Tank Battalion article reports 328 did not survive the war. 194th Tank Battalion, Less Company B. ABMC lists 183 dead. Far East Air Force commanded by Maj Gen. Lewis H. Brereton, also commanded by Brig General Harold Houston George, killed in flying accident Australia 30 April 1942. 5th Air Base Group V Bomber Command 19th Bomb Group, Heavy, Headquarters, Clark Field, ABMC lists 3 dead, HQ Squadron 19th BGA BMC list 103 dead, 14th Bomb Squadron, Del Monte Field, 5 December 8, B-17, ABMC lists 13 dead, 
28th Bomb Squadron, Clark Field, 8B-17 ABMC lists 93 dead. 30th Bomb Squadron, Clark Field, 9B-17 ABMC lists 110 dead. 93rd Bomb Squadron, Del Monte Field, 5 December 8, B-17, ABMC lists 116 dead. 440th Ordnance Squadron ABMC lists 68 dead. 27th Bomb Group, Light, Headquarters ABMC lists 3 dead. 2nd Observation Squadron, Nichols Field, 21 Various Aircraft, ABMC lists 71 dead. 16th Bomb Squadron, Fort William McKinley, ABMC lists 72 dead. 17th Bomb Squadron, San Fernando Field, ABMC lists 62 dead. 91st Bomb Squadron, San Marcelino Field B-18, ABMC lists 76 dead. 48th Material Squadron ABMC lists 53 dead plus 19 also listed dead when the 48th Squadron was part of V Air Base Group. 454th Ordnance Squadron ABMC lists 71 dead. Note: Ground echelon of the 27th Bomb Group at Bataan fought as 2nd Battalion, 27th Bombardment Group, Provisional Infantry Regiment, Air Corp. V Interceptor Command. 19th Air Base Group ABMC list 1 died. 20th Air Base Group ABMC List 1 Dead Tow Target Detachment 5th Communications Detachment. ABMC Lists 0 Dead 5th Weather Detachment ABMC Lists 0 Dead Chemical Warfare Dead 4th Chemical Company Aviation. ABMC lists 33 dead. 5th Chemical Detachment, Company Aviation, ABMC lists 2 dead. 19th Air Base Squadron. ABMC lists 79 dead. 27th Material Squadron. ABMC lists 75 dead. 28th Material Squadron. ABMC lists 92 dead. 47th Material Squadron. 803D Engineering Detachment, Battalion Aviation. ABMC lists 232 dead. 809th Engineering Detachment. 409th Signal, Communications Detachment, Company Aviation, ABMC lists 29 dead. 429th Maintenance Detachment. 24th Pursuit Group, Headquarters, Clark Field. Colonel Orrin L. Grover. HQ Squadron ABMC lists 112 dead. 3rd Pursuit Squadron, EVA Field, 18P-40E, ABMC lists 0 dead. 17th Pursuit Squadron, Nichols Field, 18P-40E, ABMC lists 0 dead. 20th Pursuit Squadron, Clark Field, 18P-40B, ABMC lists 96 dead. 35th Pursuit Group, Headquarters en route to Philippines, ABMC lists 5 dead. 21st Pursuit Squadron, Attached 24th PG, Nichols Field, 18P-40E received 7 December, ABMC lists 89 dead. 
34th Pursuit Squadron attached 24th PG, Del Carmen Field, 18P-35A received 7 December ABMC lists zero dead Philippine Aircraft Warning Detachment 6th Pursuit Squadron, Philippine Army Air Corps, Batangas Field, 12P-26 ABMC lists one dead Topic. Philippine Army HQ Philippine Army 11th Division HQ 11th Division, ABMC lists one dead HQ COM 11th Division, ABMC lists one dead 11th Field Artillery REGT, ABMC lists one dead 11th Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 12th Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists two dead 13th Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead 21st Division 21st ENGR Battalion, ABMC lists two dead 21st Field Artillery Regiment, ABMC lists three dead 21st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists three dead 22nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists three dead 31st Division 31st ENGR Battalion, ABMC lists one dead 31st Field Artillery REGT, ABMC lists two dead 31st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists six dead 32nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists three dead 41st Division, Commanding General Vicente Lim, ABMC listed dead. 41st ENGR Battalion, ABMC lists one dead. 41st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists six dead. 42nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead. 51st Division, 51st Field Artillery Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 51st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 52nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 53rd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 61st Division HQ 61st Division, ABMC lists one dead 61st Field Artillery Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 61st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead 62nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists four dead 63rd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead 71st Division 71st Field Artillery REGT, ABMC lists one dead 71st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists two dead 72nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists six dead 73rd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists three dead 75th Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead 71st Quartermaster Co., ABMC lists one dead 81st Division Brig Gen Guy O. Fort, Kia 81st Division, ABMC lists five dead 81st ENGR BAT, ABMC lists one dead 
81st Field Artillery REGT, ABMC lists two dead. 82nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists two dead. 83rd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead. 91st Division HQ 91st Division, ABMC lists one dead. 91st Field Artillery Regiment, ABMC lists five dead. 91st Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists two dead. 92nd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists five dead. 93rd Infantry Regiment, ABMC lists one dead. 101st Division ABMC lists one with division. 101st ENGR Battalion, ABMC lists one dead. 101st Field Artillery REGT, ABMC lists one dead. 101st INFREGT, ABMC lists seven dead. 102nd INFREGT, ABMC lists zero dead. 103rd INFREGT, ABMC lists three dead. Harbor defenses of Manila and Subic Bays, for strength in November 1941 c. 2. Note, harbor defenses included units listed above. HQ and HQ Battery 59th Coast Artillery, see above for casualty listings 60th Coast Artillery, see above for casualty listings 91st Coast Artillery, PS, see above for casualty listings 92nd Coast Artillery, PS, see above for casualty listings USAMP Harrison Station Hospital Chemical Warfare Debt Topic United States Navy Admiral Thomas C. Hart United States Asiatic Fleet and 16th Naval District one heavy cruiser USS Houston CA30 for fate see below two light cruisers USS Boise CL47 USS Marblehead CL12 13 destroyers destroyer squadron 29 captain HV Wiley USS Black Hawk, AD-9 USS Paul Jones, DD-230 Destroyer Division 50 Commander P. H. Talbot USS John D. Ford, DD-228 USS Perry, DD-226 USS Pillsbury, DD-227 USS Pope, DD-225 Destroyer Division 57 Commander E.M. Crouch USS Alden, DD-211 USS Edsel, DD-219 USS John D. Edwards, DD-216 USS Whipple, DD-217 Destroyer Division 58 Commander T.H. Binford USS Barker, DD-213 USS Bulmer, DD-222 USS Parrot, DD-218 USS Stewart, DD-224 USS Whipporwell, AM-35 
U.S. submarines at Manila, Maravel's Naval Section Base, Cavite, Philippines, consisted of Submarine Squadron 2 consisted of 12 Salmon-class submarines and Submarine Squadron 5 of 11 Porpoise and Sargo-class submarines Submarine Squadron 21 of 4 Porpoise and Sargo class submarines plus submarine tender USS Holland S3 USS Perch SS176 USS Permit SS178 USS Pickerel SS177 USS Pike SS173 USS Porpoise SS172 USS S36 SS141 USS S37 SS142 USS S38 SS143 USS S39, SS144 USS S40, SS145 USS S41, SS146 USS Salmon, SS182 USS Sargo, SS188 USS Sowery, SS-189 USS Sculpin, SS-191 USS Sea Dragon, SS-194 USS Seal, SS-183 USS Sea Lion, SS-195 USS Seeraven, SS-196 USS Seawolf, SS-197 USS Shark, SS-174 USS Snapper, SS-185 USS Spearfish, SS-190 USS Stingray, SS-186 USS Sturgeon, SS-187 USS Swordfish, SS-193 USS Tarpon, SS-175 PT Boat Squadron 3 for Fate See Below China Yangtze Patrol Rear Admiral Glassford for Fate See Below 5 out of 6 ships lost USS Tulsa PG-22 Patrol Wing 10 Cavite Naval Base, Luzon, Philippines VP-101 VP-102 USS Childs, DD-241 USS William B. Preston, DD-344 USS Heron, AM-10 in December 1941, naval forces were augmented by the following Schooner USS Lanikai Station cast U.S. Navy code breaking on the Japanese military, evacuated to Australia 1942 Navy losses Cruiser USS Houston CA30 lost the 1st of March 1942 368 survived of 1061 crew PT boat motor torpedo boat squadron 36 PT boats PT31 PT32 PT33 PT34 PT35 PT41 all lost the 6th of December 1941 to March 1942.
USS Bittern AM36 scuttled the 10th of December 1941. USS Edsel DD219 escaped to Australia sunk the 1st of March 1942. USS Canopus AS9 scuttled the 10th of April 1942. 548 crew served with 4th Marine Regiment 212 Kia Mia. USS Genesee at 55 scuttled the 5th of May 1942 but salvaged by the Japanese sunk on the 5th of November 1944. USS Finch AM9 ran out of fuel and abandoned March sunk by Japanese on the 9th of April 1942 salvaged as IJN patrol boat 103 sunk in 1945 USS Langley AV3 escaped to Dutch East Indies and Australia lost the 8th of May 1942 USS New York ACR2 scuttled December 1941 USC and GSS research beached the 30th of January 1942 USS Perry DD226 escaped to Australia sunk the 19th of February 1942 USS Perch SS176 escaped to Australia scuttled the 3rd of March 1942 six out of 54 crew did not survive the war USS Pickerel SS 177 escaped to Australia lost with all hands the 3rd of April 1943 USS pigeon ASR 6 sunk the 4th of May 1942 USS Pillsbury DD227 escaped to Dutch East Indies sunk the 2nd of March 1942 USS Pope DD225 escaped to Dutch East Indies sunk the 1st of March 1942 USS Quail AM15 scuttled following damage by air and surface attack the 5th of May 1942 US SS-36, SS-141, scuttled following grounding the 21st of January 1942, USS-39, SS-144, run aground and abandoned the 13th of August 1942, USS Sealion, SS-195, scuttled the 25th of December 1941 after damage the 10th of. December 1941, five crewmen lost in war USS Stewart, DD-224, escaped to Java and scuttled 2 March 1942, salvaged as IJN patrol boat 102, sunk in 1946 in addition two district patrol craft YP-16 and YP-17 and about 70 miscellaneous district craft were lost in the Philippines in 1942. See listing in list of United States Navy losses in World War II. China Yangtze Patrol 5 of 6 vessels lost USS Asheville PG-21 lost the 3rd of March 1942, 159 crew lost USS Luzon PG47 scuttled the 6th of May 1942 but salvaged by the Japanese sunk in the Philippines by USS Narwhal SS167 on the 3rd of March 1944 USS Mindanao PR8 lost the 2nd of May 1942 USS Oahu PR6 sunk the 5th of May 1942 USS Wake PR3 captured the 8th of December 1941 Topic United States Marine Corps 
4th Marine Regiment, Commander Colonel Samuel L. Howard, stationed at Corregidor, consisted of 142 different organizations. USMC, 72 officers, 1,368 enlisted. USN, 37 officers, 848 enlisted USAAC, PA, 111 officers, 1,455 enlisted 4th Marines casualties were 315 killed, 15 MIA, 357 WIA in the Philippine Campaign, 3, 105 Marines were captured on Bataan and 1,283 captured on Corregidor of whom 490 didn't survive. 4 Topic. Miscellaneous Harbor Defenses, 15 April 1942 Maj. General George F. Moore U.S. Army, 5012 U.S. Navy, 2158 USMC, 1617 Philippine Scouts, 1298 Philippine Army, 1,818 Philippine Navy, 400 U.S. Civilians, 343 Civilians other, 2,082 Army Nurse Corps, Navy Nurse Corps, 78 Angels of Bataan See also Baton Day